Emily, thank you so much. All right, uh, Brittany McCatton going to join us before I read this very presumptuous uh, intro that she's written for me. But I have faith in Brittany as a friend and a coworker here. We're finishing January strong with our fifth installment of Get Me Fit. Brittany's back with a report that's sure to be a knockout. I don't know how I'm going to go on, Sully, without you giving me grief every single time we do one of these segments. But anyways, thank you. Get Me Fit started with a goal of inspiring both myself and hopefully some of you to find a fitness routine that's actually enjoyable. I wanted to step outside my comfort zone and try different classes around the area to get into a groove again. Each week I felt myself getting stronger, so I figured it only made sense to end the month with a bang. For that, Chief Photographer Mark Redeker and I held, headed to Wilcox Wellness and Fitness in Bangor for a boxing class with personal trainer Katie Pelletier. We're going to get started. You will not need your jump ropes just yet. We're just going to do a little mobility and a little stretching out before we even get to the cardio. Start small and progressively get larger. The larger you get, the slower you go. Boxing is, is it's different. We do a different session every day. Um, it can be anywhere from basic techniques to you could be on those precision mitts the whole time. It could be bag work the whole time. It just, it's all different every single day, but we stick to technique. I'm just gonna have you stand square. So your feet are gonna be side by side, shoulder width apart. Put your fists right by your chin. We are just gonna mimic what your body naturally does when you punch. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna take one arm, you're just gonna extend it out in front of you and you're gonna rotate it so the top of your hand is parallel with the ceiling. You're then gonna use Use this little muscle back here, your lat. We're gonna row it in and extend out the other one. And you're just gonna alternate that. Everything you do in boxing starts with your feet. So to move forward, I'm gonna press through my back foot and I'm gonna take a little step forward with my front foot, making sure that my feet never come together. We teach you the basic technique first so you don't hurt yourself. Yes. Now to go backward, you're gonna press off your front foot teach you all of the things that you're gonna need to know before you even get so on your bag, so that when you start punching your bag, you're not gonna hurt yourself. When we jab, guys, we're gonna extend from our shoulder, and our chest is gonna rotate away from us. We're gonna work on our cross. So your cross is one of your most powerful punches because it's done with your most dominant hand. So the reason it's called a cross is because you are crossing your body. something. Remember when you're punching the bag, mm -hmm. it's going to be these knuckles. So when you punch. Boxing is actually really, really great for the older population. Okay. It does really, really well for mental and for memory. We didn't really use numbers. We used the punches today, but every punch has a number assigned to it. So what do you want to throw for a combo? Yeah, jab cross. You got, you got All right, so, so jab. it's great for cognitive learning. It's muscle memory. We switch up combinations, so you have to think like, oh yeah, that punch normally comes after this punch, but it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, everybody in here makes mistakes. Ah. But, you know, we're not in, we're not in the ring. You're here to learn, cool. you know. So we're not gonna throw you out there and you're not gonna fight Floyd Mayweather. You're just gonna come in here and have a great time. It's like life, you learn your technique and then you apply it to something. And that's why we started with the shadow boxing the dumbbells for power. Then you get to your bag. It's a non-moving per thing, so you can really work on actually hitting something, and that's why we ended with the precision mitts, because that's actually like boxing a real person. I'm mirroring you. You got one more, I wanna see some power. Pop okay. it. Yes, So you're Good actually work. boxing a real person. So we started from the beginning, and then we ended just how you would in a normal fight. And that's how you apply anything to life. You learn your techniques, and then you find things in life that apply to you. Give me a high five. 
Thanks so much, you Katie. You're welcome. Wow. You might, you might know this about me, our viewers uh, might not. I don't necessarily have that killer instinct, so it took me a <laughs> yeah. little while sure. to warm up to it. Yeah. And then by the end, man, I was going at that bag, and I felt fully prepared to do so, you know, because we had spent so much time on form. Doing right, yeah. And then by the time I finished, I was like, wait, I want to keep going. Yeah. Because you really can get out a lot of stress and frustration without hurting anybody. And I... Uh, I feel like I could see the progression in you from just the beginning of it to that last one. You could tell you really you took it up a notch uh, on that last she asked for power and you, you provided it. I said, sure thing. There's a lot that goes into it that you don't even think about. Yeah. You know, we warmed up her ankles and things like that. So uh, when you put it all together, it takes a little while to be able to maybe turn your brain off and just kind of do it without thinking of everything. But like I said, by the end of that 45 minutes, I felt like I was putting it together and you saw that last pop I got. It was uh, definitely the best one. Wilcox Wellness fitness.com if you want to learn more. This could be really good for uh, anybody, but anybody in particular that you think could benefit from this? Oh, what a good question, Brian Sullivan. It is for all ages, and as you heard Katie mention in the piece, even the older population mm -hmm. can really get a lot out of it. I had a woman come up to me afterwards, my new friend, and say, just make sure you mention that it's so good for older people too, especially 70 plus, and the benefits it can bring to people of all ages are really impressive. There's, you know, like I said, so much that goes into boxing more than just sure. giving some pops. Yeah, you, I mean, the numbers, I get that. One, two, four, you know, stuff like that. Maybe even a three, uh, whatever. But anybody uh, run afoul of you at the grocery store yet? You know, you better watch out. With great power Got comes great responsibility, Brittany. Uppercut, you know. You don't uh, want to miss part six of the story tonight, right? Yeah, part two at six. Uh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, but we've, this is our part five of this. I'm going oh. to miss this. Breaking news. Okay. Okay. We're not going to end it in January. Okay. It's been so much fun, but it is a lot of work. So we're not going to do it weekly, but I think we're going to do this monthly. We already have shoots set up for February and March. Wow. So any ideas, keep them coming. If there's a class that pops up that you want to check out, let me know on Facebook. And we're going to do it once a month because it's been so fun and pretty well received. So let's keep it going. All right. Uh, Katie Pelletier, who you just saw, is going to share her inspiration for wanting to work at Wilcox, the place that she says saved her life. Until then, if you want to learn more or to check out a full class schedule, visit, as Brian said, wilcoxwellnessfitness.com.